Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Crate and Art. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute bumblebee. Now you could make this to hang on your door, but I decided to use the little stand I found at the Dollar Tree. So you're going to need the wire frame that I got at the Dollar Tree. I got these beads. I can't remember I got them, but you're just going to need some black wooden beads or plastic beads, whatever beads you have. And then I got this at the trash can at the Dollar Tree. I got the sign at the Dollar Tree. I also, this is a piece of clothes I got at the thrift store for like 99 cents. I just cut out a little piece of it. Some yellow yarn. And I think I ended up getting this at um, Joann's. It was on clearance. But any kind of yellow yarn would work. A piece of foam gore board, a cutting board, some felt that I got at the Dollar Tree, some black spray paint, a pair of scissors, X-Acto blade, a pencil, and a glue gun. So let's get started. So oh, we're also going to need some black wire, got the Dollar Tree, and some wire cutters. So I went ahead and spray painted my bee black. So once it's dry, we're going to take it and we're going to take the foam core board and draw on the inside of the body part, so the head and the body. And then we're just going to take your X-Acto blade here and cut it out. I ended up cutting it out in one big piece, but I ended up changing it to two separate pieces. So this is how I made mine here. And the reason why you want to draw it on the inside is because you want a little bit smaller than the actual part in there because you're going to cover it with the piece of material. Depending on how fat your material is, so if you use a thinner material, you, you want to not cut it so small so it fits in there just snug. So you're going to do it like that. And then you're just going to take your hot glue and your little fingertips here. I got the Dollar Tree so you don't burn yourself. I'm just going to put on a little bit of hot glue and then just push it around. So you're going to go through and do that all the way around your circle part here. That's for the head. If you're using some kind of fleece or fur, make sure you get your fur going the same direction so it puffs up for you. And then I just went through and did the body and just smushed it all the way around. So just fold those edges in with some hot glue. Perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and cut these parts out here for the wings. Again, I use the inside edge. You could do the outside edge just to give you a little bit of extra. And then I'm just going to cut this wire basket out to get a piece of it. So I want a flat piece of it. So you could use any kind of meshy material if you wanted to put something else there. Dollar Tree sells like a black mesh with little white dots. That would be really cute for this part too. But I went ahead and went with the trash can here. I'm going to cut out both wings and I'm going to cut out one side. I'm just going to use these strong scissors here to just cut this out. So I just kind of held it there. Try to get it as close to that as you can without going too small. Then you're just going to cut the section out and then you're going to take that piece and you're going to lay it back on top and you're going to line up. So you're going to flip it over, but you're going to lay it right on top and you want it to match up the same lines as the other one. So get that where it matches. And then I'm just going to cut it out with my scissors again. So let's go ahead and cut the two pieces out here and we'll use these in just a little bit. So now we're going to use the beads. So we're going to take the beads and you're going to take a bunch off or take a bunch of your brown beads here or black beads. I'm sorry. I think I ended up getting these at like Menards at Christmas time on clearance. So we're just going to thread them up on a piece of long wire here and attach it right there at the edge. And they're just going to thread these beads on. And then every so often you're going to take a little piece of wire but make them a little bit long because you're going to use that to attach the meshy part on the back of the wing. I'll show you that. So you're just going to tie it around there and just wrap it over top. So just every, I don't know, six or seven beads or so, and then you're just going to twist it on the back side and just twist it around. Don't do it too tight because it'll break off on you. This wire is not too thick here. So you're just going to twist it around like that. And then you're just going to start just doing more beads, more wires, more beads, more wires. So you're just going to kind of keep it going to get all the way to the end. Now here's the meshy part. 
and we're just going to stick it on the back and then we're going to use the wires that you attach the beads with every so often and then you're just going to tie it up so you're just going to take it through and twist it around so you're going to feed them up through there and make sure you're doing it on the back side there's kind of a front side and a back side the beads are puffy they kind of puff out on the front side and on the back side it's a little more flush with the wire or with the metal frame of the bead see how it's puffed up on the front side okay so now I'm going to go ahead and finish the other side with the beads and the mesh part uh, first I'm going to take these little antennas I just kind of bend them up be careful because you want to do it very gentle because you don't want that to break off and then now I'm going to I finished the other side with the beads and the mesh and I'm taking pieces of the yarn here and I'm just going to wrap them around and glue them on the back side So you could do as many stripes as you want. I ended up doing six here. Now how cute is this? Okay, so now what I'm going to do, now this part, you're going to cut out your black part. And I went on the outer edges this time and cut them out. Now be careful here. I'm going to show you where I messed this up because I want to put mine on a stand. So if you want to put yours like hanging up, Go ahead and follow along right here what I'm doing. So go ahead and just glue this on here, right on top of the wire edges and glue that all on there. And then go ahead and do the top. But if you wanna put it on a stand, don't do this part. You're gonna see here where I ended up pulling this back off because I wanted it to be on my stand. I also, if you can't tell, I put that on the wrong side. So I had to take it back off and glue it on the right side because my beads were I, I like the other side where I put the beads so on this I just kind of cut that off there's little tacks in there I had to get the little tacks out now here's where I glued this on and I put cut out another piece of felt on top and I ended up tearing this off because I put it on the wrong side of my beads and then I had to put more glue and tear that off and glue this back on so if you're going to make a stand, do not put the black part on until you glue the stand on and let it cool down and then add the felt on the back. But anyways, I got it to work out. So just be careful that you're gluing it on the right side. And if you want it on the stand, make sure you're putting the stand on before you put the felt on the back. But if you're going to hang it up, just go ahead and put the felt on the back. And then I just added smaller beads to the antennas. And I think it turned out super cute, you guys. I was gonna add a bow. I changed my mind, no bow, no ribbons, just kind of plain. And I think he's adorable. Well, if you like what I'm doing, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.